Appalachian Wireless proudly brings you unlimited data. Unlimited data is only $80 a month for a single line. Four lines as low as $200. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. An East Kentucky network company. Data speeds slow to 25 gigabytes per line to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets. And 15 gigabytes for modems. See store for more details. <laughs> The Johnson County Sheriff's Office conducted a drug roundup today in Paintsville and Johnson County. Twelve people were indicted on various drug charges. The uh, roundup is culmination of an 18-month investigation uh, involving illegal sales of narcotics. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office went to several locations today looking for the individuals named in the indictments. Deputy William Meade says various factors come into play while trying to locate suspects. They move around an awful lot. Uh, we had an individual that had been uh, evicted prior to us being able to get there. Uh, so locating these people can sometimes be quite the chore. At this present time, we, we located four uh, of these individuals and uh, served the indictments on them. Uh, we had an individual that ran uh, just prior to us pulling in the driveway. Those indicted and arrested today include 53-year-old Tony Kimbler of Paintsville and 59-year-old Glenda Jean Kimbler of Paintsville. Both were charged with trafficking in a controlled substance and trafficking within 1,000 feet from a school. Also arrested were 48-year-old William Ed Gorman of Paintsville and 34-year-old Ned Davis of Paintsville. Both were charged with trafficking in a controlled substance. All four were lodged in the Big Sandy Regional Detention Center. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office is uh, committed to aggressively investigating illegal sales of narcotics in Johnson County. If anyone has any information on illegal drug sales or any other crime taking place in Johnson County, please contact the Sheriff's Office by calling the number listed on your screen. Callers may remain anonymous. In Paintsville, Shelby Porter, EKB News.